Hi, welcome back to ToddFun.com, where I do what I think is fun. Today I think it's going to be trying to fix this heap of junk <laughs> CD player. It's a, I think it's a five, five disc CD player, Sony, so it's you know pretty good make, pretty good model. Uh, it was given to me by uh, an individual co-worker who just doesn't want it anymore. It actually was broken. Uh, it looks like it's been trying to be, someone tried to take it apart because some of the screws are half out and half in. So uh, there was a report that something got dropped or jammed or something and it just couldn't get it to fix and work again. So I will take it apart, mostly just to look at it, maybe see if I can get it to work. Really, even if I get it to work, who wants a six disc CD player anymore? So what I'll probably do is fix it just to see if I can and then scrap it out for some parts that, uh, that I might want for some other project. So. Let's take a look at, uh, see if it's working first, and then take a look inside. Okay, well it's Christmas time, so I'll be testing with some Merry Christmas with, I guess, Bing Crosby. <laughs> so, this is plugged in. I got it plugged into my isolation transformer, just to be safe. I'm going to take it apart and work on it. Um, let's see if it powers up. I got, uh, got the cord plugged in, and this is just an, uh, uh, basically just a an audio jack going over to the to a amplifier I have over here. Okay, that's power. Let's turn it on. Well, well that seemed pretty reasonable. Well, you can stay open longer than that. Thank you. How's that? Now you happy? Oh, it is jammed. Oh, maybe. there it goes. No, nope, not happy. Huh. Okay, try again. <laughs> no. Nope. It wants a disc in one, it says. Whoa. I have no idea what's going on. Disc five, that's platter five. See if that makes it happier. Oh. Well, okay, definitely something to fix. <laughs> it's really just an exercise in can you fix something? And it's nice to have something you don't really care to keep or have fixed. You can make mistakes and try a few crazy th ideas and see if you can get it fixed. But yeah, we maybe we'll fix it just as a learning experience. Well, what do we got? We got a disc in there. Let's see, do I see any cheese sandwiches? No. <laughs> well, that's good, I guess. It was acting like it was having a bit of an optic issue, like some kind of something optically wasn't seeing something. So that's my first thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna look to see if I can find maybe a blocked optic or a dirty optic. Yeah, well, what do you know? The whole bottom comes off the boot. Top and bottom. And it looks like the front panel would come off with just some of these ribbon cables would snap off and and the front panel would come off. You even got a clip for the power. If you can see, there's a, it actually clipped in the power cord, so that's easy to take off. Unsnap a few ribbons and the main board would come off. And uh, it looks like the front panel comes off too, just after taking those screws off it. Not held on with much of anything. Yeah. Let's see. We got a ribbon on the bottom here. So we'll pull out that ribbon on the bottom. And then there's a ribbon on the side here too. The right side would be better to take it off. Of. Well, that was interesting. Well, four more screws in this whole back panel with the power cable comes off. That is pretty slick. I like this thing. It comes apart so easy. I mean, a couple dozen screws and you're you're inside everything. Wish they make everything like that. Well, that's the main processing board. Big transformer for the power. Um, 
really weird though is these uh, all these ribbon cables that are flopping around here. Normally they've got like uh, normally when they go into these white connectors, there's like a uh, a clamping mechanism that you loosen with a screwdriver and you flip it up. Then when you slimpy, you can slide the ribbon in this uh, flexible uh, flexible ribbon PCB basically connectors and then clamp them back down again but these they're totally friction based um, no no clamping mechanism it might make it a bit hard to push them in but well I guess if that's what they got so I'm scanning this board just for you know you know is there is there any easy to see easy to realize that there's something wrong um, with anything uh, I'm mostly looking for some optics and stuff like that, anything that might be failed on the board. I haven't found any actual optics yet that watch for the, the drawer closing. Yeah. Like I said, everything comes apart so nicely. A few of these flexible ribbon connectors and everything comes right off. This is just the main button controls for the front. So you got your drawer select and play and all that so really there shouldn't be anything wrong with any of this it's gonna have something to do with sensing that there's a that there's a disc in well this is this is the disc that holds the thing and it's got basically little cuts little windows if you can see it or not in the plastic and then there's a a bit of a there's an optical sensor right there that will see and count those slits go by and that'll probably help it with its uh, finding out which disc is what which disc is in this loaded area and probably even the speed maybe uh, okay There's a, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but there's a little, it looks like a little piece of dirt, fuzz, almost, well, almost like a piece on top of that pencil right there. Nah, you're not going to see that, are you? That was actually covering that optic that, uh, that, uh, counts those little, uh, slits that go by. That would be probably enough to confuse it. Well, being we did find something that possibly could be wrong, um, why don't we uh, put it back together and just see? Could be everything. Yeah, we would have been blocking that optic just enough. Uh, I actually took some of my 99% isopropyl alcohol and some Q-tips, cleaned up the optics again. I, it, it just acted like the optics weren't seeing when things were right, right place. So everything seems to be fine now. I'm going to go ahead and just play a little bit of music and. Uh, this should be about it for this build, rebuild, fix. <laughs> I'll just cycle through the discs and see it work. That's all of them several times through. Um, they seem to be working fine. Let's do an eject of everything. See if it comes back to, you know, see if it comes back in again. Everything's happy. Yeah, seems good. Play. Okay, well, I guess that's it. Um, it's fixed. It's working great. Uh, I might see if uh, the coworker who gave it to me still wants it. I seriously doubt it. I mean, you can put 5,000 songs on a stupid stick of memory nowadays. So, at any rate, it's fixed. It's good. It, uh, I wish it was some electronics problem, uh, something a little more electrical to uh, troubleshoot. But in a way, it was. It was acting like those optics, and we cleaned the optics real good. We got that little flake of wood out of there. That really helped a lot. 
and uh, it's all good now. So there you go, another thing you can fix. In this case, you probably wouldn't want to, but <laughs> thanks for trying.